Hello, this is me Naz Monsieur, and welcome to this video where I install Windows Server 2016 uh, Windows Server 2016 Technical Preview 5 It's not released yet, but I believe this is the final technical preview of Windows Server 2016 I'll be installing the GUI version without that means uh, the non command line version so I'll have a Windows desktop I'm just uh, installing it just to see what the desktop environment looks like uh, there's some issues with Windows Server 2016 that causes uh, some errors such as opening up the settings app requires admission uh, throws up an error saying that uh, it can't be done in an admin account I want to see if things like that has been fixed also, Microsoft Edge is not operable by default in the built-in app administrator account in Windows Server 2016 Technical Preview 4 and earlier. I want to see if that has been fixed. Also, uh, in this, I'm not going to go over any server features at all. I might do another video later on uh, talking about the features in Windows Server 2016 and also talk about the command line uh, version. Or There's also Nano Server. I might do the <coughs> a separate video about those. This is just looking at the Windows Server 2016 desktop environment and how it compares to the Windows 10 client version. So I'm going to compare Windows Server 2016 to I have Windows 10 uh, right here. This is the I believe uh, it's a very uh, I believe it might be the same build of Windows 10 that I have. Uh, so the Windows Server uh, the it's equivalent to the anniversary update to Windows 10. So Windows Server 2016 will be the same version as the anniversary update of Windows 10. This build of Windows 10 that I'm running <coughs> is uh, build 14.3.3.2. I'll see what version of Windows Server um, I have downloaded. So if I go to my account or my, uh, oh, not C. I want to go to the D drive. That's where I have a bigger space. And I have, I go to my downloads folder, Windows Server 2016. I think this is 14.16.3.2.4. So it's a little, uh, it's a few builds older than this build but um, this is basically the anniversary edition anniversary update of Windows 10 is that the server version of the anniversary update of Windows 10 so I believe Windows Server will be released uh, in conjunction with the anniversary of update with Windows 10 so it's going to be the sa final build of the Windows 10 anniversary update will be the fa RTM version of Windows Server so uh, let's get it installed and see what it's like I'm going to open up the VMware. This is the vir this is the virtual machine software I'm going to be using because it's my favorite one. It works the best. So VMware Workstation 212 Player. It's also free. Um, it's I love I I prefer it. It's much easier to use and more convenient than Hyper V Hyper V, which is built into Windows 10. Uh, the main reason is uh, things like uh, getting uh, the sound to work and stuff is much easier. Uh, in fact, there's an update for VMware. So Tell you what, I'm gonna update uh, this uh, version of I'm gonna update this virtual machine software, and I'm gonna come back uh, after I have the latest version installed. I'm running VMware version 12.0. This is 12.1.1. So let's get it done. Okay. So I'll I'll see you in a bit. Okay. So <coughs> VMware has been installed or updated. I'm sorry, I didn't want to correct myself. Uh, last time I said uh, that r Windows Server build was 16.384. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm mistake. I was mistaken. Uh, the server build is actually uh, uh, 13, uh, 14300. I, uh, I, uh, I just misread the label. So there's a few, just I think two builds older than this one. This is 14.332. Actually, it's 32 builds older, so it's not too bad. It's like a month old month older than the Windows 10 build I'm using but it should give a good representation of how the server compares to the client so I'm going to open up VMware again oh, oh Windows search is on so unreliable or maybe oh sorry I'm unreliable because I mistyped typed it twice but sometimes it does work Windows serve does search or Cortana sometimes doesn't work and does not find the app or sometimes it does find the app but it's below the n files or web search which uh, not web search but file search which is very annoying uh, but let's see let's get started let's create a new virtual machine I'm gonna use an ISO file uh, th from the D drive I'm going to use Windows Server let me rename that folder I don't like what I wrote here I'm gonna label it as 2016 no, no, definitely not 2019. That's way in the future. Maybe we all have a 2019 in the future, but it's not there. It's not happening yet. So 
here's the ISO. It says could not detect the version. Uh, I'll just label it myself. Uh, next, I'm going to call this Windows 10. Actually, Windows Server. We're going to have to call it Windows 10 because uh, Windows Server 2016 is not here yet. It says Hyper V unsupported. Actually, it's, it is here. Windows Server 2016. Good. Uh, I'm going to click next. And I'm going to change the location. My C drive does not have enough space to do this. It does, but it's going to go in the red, and I don't want that. So we do my D drive, actually. Yes. So we do my D drive. My user folder, uh, documents, virtual machines folder. I'm going to create a folder called Windows Server. 2116, 2016, not 2116, but yeah, 2016, next. I'm going to actually label it TP5 because I might have a later on RTM installation of Windows Server. I don't uh, distinguish TP5 and RTM. Even though I'll pro most likely uh, delete this server uh, when a new version of server comes out. Uh, 60 gigabytes, fine. Split into multiple files. Yep, that should be good. Um, uh, split into multiple files. Uh, where do I change the the each file size? Because I might need to upload upload it to a cloud storage provider, and sometimes they don't like really huge files. I would love to be able to change the uh, each each file size for like individual file size. Okay, so let's see. We have two gigs of RAM. I'm gonna give this four gigs of RAM actually. Um, yeah, actually I'll give it 3 gigs of RAM. Mm, where is it? Uh, memory. 4 gigs of RAM is fine. What's, what is uh, what is 4 gigs in memory? Let's see, 10, 10, 24, times 4, 4096, yes, that was correct. Yep, 4096. Um, just verified that. Um, let's see, number of logical processors. One is fine. Um, let's see. Accelerate 3D graphics. One gigabyte of RAM is okay. Everything else looks good. Close. We're going to finish this. And I will begin the process. All right, let's get started. Hit play in three, two, one, go. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, let's see. Okay. Okay. Yes, we need to download the VMware tools. We'll have to let that do in the background. Yes, there we go. So it's it's here. You can see the tile spilling here. So it's booting from the disk. Oh, it's strange it didn't say press any key to boot from CD. Maybe it did. I missed it. Windows Server 2016 2016 Technical Preview 5 English United States. That's the version I downloaded. Um, US. Uh, time and currency. Uh, I didn't see Eastern Time yet. Uh, I'll check that. I'll fix that later. Is there Eastern Time? I don't know. It doesn't say. Yeah, so it's English in the United States, uh, time and currency. Oh, it's format, sorry. Not time zone yet, so. Install. Tw at copyright 2016 Microsoft Corp. All rights, res all rights reserved. Setup is starting. Let's see, VMware Twill is. Well, it's going there pretty quickly. I'm also uploading some, backing up some stuff on the. Um, what do you call it? Amazon Drive. So my main internet might be slower. No product key. Hmm. Okay. I don't think I was given a product key when I downloaded this preview, but I haven't checked. If if it doesn't activate, I'll go go back to the website and check. Windows Server Standard Technical Preview Five. We need a desktop environment. In the past, I think it used to say Windows Server Windows Server version number no server core and the other was full install 
now it doesn't even say server core and this is the default they actually highlight they call this the anomaly back in the day when it, when the server 2008 uh, the non GUI version is the anomaly in fact you can do everything with the non GUI version now it can do everything you need to do with the server with the non GUI version non graphical user interface version so this is the standard now so this is what's expected to be installed this is for the desktop experience Microsoft does not recommend you do that that causes bloat and more uh, open f open uh, places for vulnerability so the less items you want you want your server to be more uh, slimmer and with less items so you, ha you have you minimize the risk of vulnerabilities and yeah oh yeah this is the VMware um, user account control what interesting okay that was strange did not expect that okay or oh, at least it suspended it okay good I thought uh hmm good at least I'm glad it suspended it okay so let's see uh, so yeah so this is uh, the desktop experience is now the anomaly. This is not what you're supposed to do, but we're going to do this because I'm, I'm, I'm going to compare this to the client experience of Windows 10. So let's do this next. In terms of condition of pre release software, yes, next. Upgrade don't work. I don't think upgrade ever works, so I don't know if you know why this option is there. It's actually there because it's just uh, carried. This is just the exact install experience on Windows 10. They don't. They didn't bother modifying the server experience. So this just carried for from carried forward from a Windows 7 install installer. So they never bothered modifying it. So I'm not sure. I don't know if you can upgrade from Windows Server 2008 R2. I'll try it once. We'll see what happens. 60 gigabytes, 60 gigabytes. But I I don't know if you ever want to upgrade it like this. I uh, don't want new. Full uh, size apply. Yes, it just said that you would create a system reserve per partition. So we'll click next and install Windows. So uh, it's going to be a. Uh, I I moved this uh, ISO and the virtual machine, the D drive, which is our spinning hard drive. So it's going to be slow, slower. My C drive is a C drive is a solid straight drive, so solid state drive. So if I did it there, it, it would have been much faster. But but even with the hard drive, it's not that too, it's not too slow, which it, which which is impressive because I think Windows has become much better at installing itself more quickly than it was previously, especially in when compared to Windows Vista. So yeah, it's much better. So uh, I'll be back after the installation is complete or nearing completion. So see you in a bit. Goodbye. Okay, so it's getting devices ready. So it's basically installing the drivers. So it's going to be here in, in the getting ready stage for a while because uh, from my experience in installing Windows from scratch, uh, it, st it stays in getting ready for a bit. Uh, it's quite a while. Uh, in Windows 10, uh, when you upgrade, you have a ring that shows you where, you, where you're at. Uh, here, uh, by, by clean install experience hasn't been updated since Windows 8. Uh, so uh, there, there's no progress indicator here, but maybe I spoke uh, spoken too soon. Maybe there is a. It is faster than I thought it's gonna be. So I see a blank screen. So I don't know. Should I stop the uh, video? Let's see if it actually loads. Let's see if it says getting ready. I'm gonna pause the video, uh, but it might actually load to the blue screen, not the blue screen of death, but a blue screen of introduction or setup. Uh, where you have to type in your administrator browser account, user account. Hmm. The logo went away. That's strange. Don't think I've seen that before. No getting ready signs. So maybe we should just keep it. Uh, let's see. Uh, wait a couple of uh, half a minute before deciding whether to pause the recording. Um, they haven't ex changed the experience. Uh, they have several. D they have different install experience actually. Uh, Microsoft uses a, a different exp uh, installer for a clean install and a one for upgrade install. Uh, they have definitely upgrade, uh, modified the upgrade install a lot and modernized it a lot, but they haven't basically they haven't touched the clean in install experience since Windows 8. And uh, 
and it only the post copying file phase like the pre copying file phase has been unchanged since Windows Vista um, uh, but the yeah so that needs to be updated I, I don't see I'm curious to see when Microsoft get gets around to it but they I guess they have their priorities so customize settings type in an administrator parts or this is the out of box experience for the Windows server so the mouse is, mouse is cooperating much better but I still have to install the VMware tools but I will I'll, I'll be I'll do that after I create an account so let's see Hopefully it matches. Yes, it does. Okay, finalizing your settings. So, in this phase, a uh, Windows 10 client, you don't say uh, hi. Uh, thank you. We're glad you're here. Your apps are new features to get excited about, or your files are exactly where you left them. But the server, there's no time, or there's no point in being so friendly and welcoming in a server environment so there's no hi messages there's no get your apps from the Windows Store messages uh, there's no color cycle messages just that finalizing your settings so but I'm curious to see if it takes us as long as it does in Windows 10 in Windows 8 and Windows 10 this part of hi we're getting things ready for you or download apps from the store this uh, cy color cycling message uh, in Windows 8 and Windows 10 it takes a while actually but let's see. Uh, yeah, I think it should take the same amount of time in the server because it's provisioning the environment. So we'll see. Maybe I'll uh, I'll pause the recording. So I'll, I'll be back. Okay. I'll let you know. This is currently 9:47 p.m. So when I come back, you'll see how many minutes have passed. So it finished finalizing your setting. You see, there was a black screen for like uh, three seconds, and it says uh, applying data or applying settings, and then it came for another second, and it came to this blue lock screen. So no friendly lock screen images, and you can't just swipe to unlock. You have to press Control Alt Delete. Uh, it's currently 10:48, so it took less than a minute, or just a, about a minute uh, from the time I stopped. So not too bad for the first uh, experience um, let's go use this three control I'll delete virtual control I'll delete button because if I do it in real life it'll work but it'll also lock my PC I don't want that so I'll need to type in the password also no login background as expected expected welcome please wait for the user profile services Yeah, I think this is the provisioning part, actually. This is the part that we're in client. It's a hi, welcome to Windows. But there's, but this is just a, you saw the normal classic provisioning provisioning window. I wonder how this song stays here. So there's no progress indicator. indicator. There isn't a progress indicator in the client either, but there's friendly messages like, oh, okay. We're in the desktop, so all the effects are turned off so the things like animations and dragging to showing window content while dragging is off however because uh, one thing I liked is now they got rid of that really ugly uh, arrow basic theme from Windows Server 2008 R2 uh, arrow light theme because uh, remember notice no remember that in Windows 8, starting in Windows 8, they enabled desktop composition. So, Windows a uh, desktop window man window manager. So, hardware accelerated uh, desktop window management or uh, desktop composition has been enabled for all versions of Windows after Windows 8 uh, since Windows 8. So, whereas Windows 7 Server for Windows 7 Server or Windows Server 2008 uh, and 2008 R2 were running in classic theme with arrow off or desktop composition off. Windows Server 2012, starting Windows 2012, even the server versions were running had a desktop composition on, so it couldn't run the dot classic th classic theme. It had to run the arrow theme. So, but for some reason, Microsoft had a more uh, different visual style for the server 2020, uh, 2012, and 2012 R2, and it really looked bad. It looked horrible, really bad. And in fact, in fact, even classic lo looked better than that theme. And I'm so glad. Um, 
they got rid of it and they have unified the look and feel of the server with the, that of the client. I think it makes development easier. I just closed out of the server manager because I'm going to have to install VMware tools first. And they uh, unify the look of look and feel of the client to the server and I think it's great because it makes it look nicer and more importantly uh, it's going to make development easier so you don't have to re uh, do things like uh, updates twice because when you change something if you have a different different theme uh, or different uh, different code you have to actually implement it twice and test it twice and it was it wasn't even it wasn't even saving any server resources so it's not like that theme was uh, any flatter than this theme this theme that theme was just another look and feel and didn't help it it made made life worse it it was causing more problems than help because that had no advantages over this theme other than c requiring extra work to verify that ev any updates made to the client version would be compatible with the other theme so i'm glad microsoft deleted that horrible theme and you know by the look and feel so for now uh, enough rambling i'm going to install the guest install the guest editions or and vmware as vmware calls it install the tools i don't know if it crashed then so um i don't think i'll be able to do that uh what happened is i uh, yeah remember it it broke uh it crashed the machine so i don't know if it installed properly but we'll see and i hate this part this change they made I always go to view and go back to uh, this PC view because I don't like the quick access view actually by default so there via I guess it maybe it did get installed hmm strange autoplay doesn't didn't didn't load maybe it doesn't do that in the server because but usually it says install a run program it does doesn't just run auto run by default that's cool quite strange that it did that maybe it is like that in server I don't know or maybe I'm using an admissure account let's see so next uh, typical is fine install copying new files I can't wait to get it to a 1080p screen resolution so you don't have to see a small screen especially if you're looking watching this on a mobile device it's gonna be harder to see I'm sorry about that I guess I could have zoomed in um, but uh, I guess I could use magnifier to zoom this in, but I'm almost done, so I, sh I should have thought about that earlier. Sorry about that. We're not zooming in, but since I'm rebooting now, so there's no point. Um, yes, restart. Stopping services. Restarting. Windows logo. I wonder if they're gonna save change the color because this uh, logo is the color of Windows 8, the teal color, or like a bright cyan. Uh, whereas Windows 10's logo is a uh, darker blue, or like a dark cyan, light blue versus this bright cyan. So yeah, I don't. I wonder if they're gonna change that. I guess this boot logo is good enough for Microsoft. I doubt they wanna bother changing that, but you never know they have enough people so yes mouse integration is working I could just move my mouse out so I think I should be able to full screen this and yes it works so control virtual control all delete tap in the password Okay, looks great. So, in fact, they even have the default wallpaper in server 2012. They have a gray background saying server 2012 R2. Here, they use the Windows wallpaper, which is interesting. Um, also, um, for the uh, consistent sake, I'm going to enable all the animations and uh, visual effects to make it more like the client. It's just a one one click action. So I'm just gonna go system here. If it loads. Remember, remember I'm using this from the hard drive. So I'm so used to using an SSD and 
using a f OS from the hard drive now is painful for me to use because it's way too slow. Oh, there's server managing or loading, so I'm gonna minimize that for a second. Best appearance. There. Now you have the drop shadow. Um, and a shadow under the mouse, uh, uh, the shadow in the menu, uh, animation for minimizing, restoring, much better. Okay, it's good. You have transparencies and stuff, I think. Yep, transparency here. Animations as well. This is build 14300, as you can see here. So, yeah. So, let's see if. Uh, yes, yeah, see, this is the problem. This annoying error message comes up, even though. Yeah, so there's the other wallpaper here. Windows Server Technic 2016 Technical, Technical Preview 5. This is the gray wallpaper I was talking about. But yeah, I'll keep it this way. Um, so let's see. Um, so yeah, so this is the start menu. This is search and not Cortana. You can't enable Cortana here. If you try to, Cortana's here, but it's just not, in, you can't enable it. Uh, Cortana is not available for this version of Windows. I mean, the Cortana itself might not be there, but the back end, the system settings for it, the system, system infrastructures for it is here because this is basically Windows 10 with server stuff on it. Um, well, Cortana is not available in this version of Windows. Um, so, yeah, you have the basic search here. So, I'm going to search, uh, make it a uh, short search box to make it look more like the client. So, WordPad. Yeah, search works fine. And it has the newer search options here. So, paint. So, you have these these updated Windows 10 anniversary updated version of the search options. You could filter from apps, settings, files. So, yeah. But yeah, the, they haven't fixed the problem here. So if you try to open Edge, it says this can't open because there's a universal app and they can't open on the built-in administrator account. So yeah, that is not good. So <clears throat> I'm going to have to create a new account. No, no, wrong button. Crap. I'm going to have to create a new account and other users add someone else to this PC. Hmm. That is not good. Okay. Maybe I could do it from the control panel, hopefully. If not, I'll do it from the server manager. Add an user account, so let's see, username. Finish, okay, so I'm gonna change the account as a administrator. Because the built-in, the normal administrator accounts can use the modern uh, universal apps, but the built-in administrator account cannot. I think there's a change. It's how they work. Uh, the built-in administrator accounts work. Uh, d uh, does don't the apps need to run in a sandbox control containers, and uh, the built-in administrator account has problems with that. I think that's what my understanding is. So, mm, yeah. So I'm going to go back. Yeah, so this uh, setting here isn't in the client. So this is exclusive to the server. Let me check something. So let me try that. Let me go to user account, uh, the control panel here. And let me go to user accounts. See, it says make changes to my account in PC settings. So 
even if I do manage another account I can't I can't change stuff here so yeah um, so that feature is exclusive to the server I guess so let's see so if I if I click my own account on the server so let's see let's let's do that yeah see, see I could do stuff like that here I can't do that in um, in server and client so that's interesting so I'm going to close it out close out of this and then I'm going to sign out and sign into the new account please wait for user services so you have that provisioning again it's gonna be quickly ho quick hopefully thing is they have all the apps built in for, I believe so we're gonna see which apps are built in there's server manager also the everything's all the effects are off again so I'm gonna have to change that again system nope nope oh, yes appearance VMware tool has modified the user interface size settings. You must log off to apply. Okay. I guess I'll do that. Relog in again. I think you noticed an animation in the lock screen. So once I enable the effects, you could see the animation, which is interesting. Okay, so. It was laggy before. It's now less laggy when I drag the window. I don't know if you remember, but yeah, okay. I'm going to enable this search box again to make it more consistent with the desktop. There's task view here, so multiple desktop, everything works. Because it again, it is the client version with server P features tacked onto it. Um, we have Windows Store, as usual. I wonder if, yeah, I know you can sign into the Microsoft account in the store, but I don't know if you can do that in... Um, what do you call it? In uh, as for the account, I shall, I shall see. Let me now. Now that I'm in a non, I'm not in the built-in administrator account. I can use stuff like Edge and stuff. So, so Edge works. So this is the anniversary update of Windows 10. Uh, analogous, anal to the anniversary update to Windows 10. So. Yeah, edge works and settings not gonna throw up the error, but I think they they need to fix that problem because that's annoying. Use not being able to use the default browser. I know you could use Internet Explorer, but that thing's getting outdated and yeah. So we have uh, the settings app works. So let me see if I could convert it to a Microsoft account. You must activate Windows before you can personalize this PC. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Sign in options. Yeah, I can't change this to. Uh, Microsoft account, so you can't do that with your PC. Interesting. Yeah, I think I did get a key. I, I I guess I wasn't paying attention there. I need to activate activate this. Hmm, interesting. I could personalize the PC in that built-in admission account, but I can't do it here. Colors are blo blocked. Show colors and title bar. Okay. So this is this is before the updates that allows us to that gives us the dark theme and. Uh, separate title bar color from the start menu so in when it was an anniversary update if I do personalize I click display didn't I okay personalize uh, you can now have um, <coughs> show color on the title bar is separate from the show color on start menu and task bar in action center but here in the server it's still it this build this is before that build that changed that allowed you to separately change the title bar color and dark light and dark theme is how also hasn't been added by now uh, because this builds older than the build that brought that feature uh, to the surface. So lock screen, I can't change that yet. I wonder if Windows Spotlight's there. I can't test. I can't test it. Or maybe I can. Let me switch back to the Admisher account. Oh no! Uh, can I s quick? Can I switch without logging off? Yes, I can. Okay. Nope. Wrong button. Okay. Okay, so let me go modify the personalize this again. 
Oh, no, I can't personalize this anymore. It's not activated. Okay, I might have to go to the website and check and download the, uh, get the product key. Let's do that now, actually. Let me go to... Oh, why did I open a new tab? That makes no sense. Okay. I don't know where the product key is. Maybe in the release notes? I don't know. Nope. It's not in the release notes. Um, I don't know. Maybe they didn't get product key because they don't want. They, it doesn't matter. It's time limited anyway. So, yeah, there's nothing that you can't do without the product key. Just you can't customize this. So I'm gonna go back to my user right now. So I'm gonna sign out. Interesting. Snipping tool and paint is over there. Strange. Okay. All right. Okay. So we have. Store calculator, the built, the, the, interesting. Okay, so that was a glitch right there. So calculator. Let's see what universal apps come built into Windows uh, 10 or actually Windows Server. So we have calculator, Microsoft Edge, the Cortana search thing, store, and that's it. So there's no other <coughs> applications. So is the Windows Journal. Windows Journal has been removed from Windows 10, the latest build. So if I tap in. Windows Journal here. Windows Journal is here, as you can see. But in the latest build of Windows 10, that's it's gone. So it's gone. They they re finally removed that app. So even if I go to Windows Accessories. It's not there, so as you can see, Windows Journal is completely gone. Also, as you notice, the animation that's new as well. Windows 10. There's, there's a new start menu right there. Animation. Yeah, this new start menu hasn't arrived at Windows Server yet. <coughs> it's it will come later on. I believe. Yeah. So, but Windows Journal does not seem to start. Okay, so that's strange. But it's gonna go away anyway, so it doesn't matter. So Windows Media Player. So Groo music, uh, Xbox, or group movies and TVs are not there. <coughs> but the default media player is. Again, uh, you're not supposed to use this as a desktop environment. It's a server, so use it like a server. But you can a bit, and you can reinstall the apps that are missing. So like, uh, if you want, you can get Groo music. So. Strange. Apps are blocked. You can't, you can't get apps. That's strange. You only get music and movies. That's so weird. I am surprised. I guess they blocked. I guess you could use Windows Server for, uh, Store for business, but they they literally blocked everything. You can't get apps. So that's very weird, huh? But you might be able to get. Uh, the app from PowerShell. So let's see. Let me try PowerShell. Let's try PowerShell. Actually, I might need to learn PowerShell as an administrator. So you might e might be able to get the packages as a through the PowerShell. So see, as I also noticed, the user account hasn't been updated hasn't been updated yet. So. Maybe I just guessed. Hmm. Determine. Okay. 
so I guess that doesn't work uh, which wouldn't because you would need a Microsoft account yeah so uh, I have to look it up I don't know if the, even if it was po if, even if I got the command correct uh, there's still issues because you can't just download pack grab package from the Windows Store you have to actually use a Microsoft account to do do stuff like that so uh, you have to log into your Microsoft account so it, it does complicate things so I don't think you just there's I don't think there's an easy way to just install it like you can do it package managers in Ubuntu and other other, other Linux distributions so yeah so that's not gonna work so yeah so you have there's Windows Server 2016 for you and they haven't fixed those um, can and edge crash this is oh I remember this build this this build was horrible edge was really buggy in that build but yeah I, uh, so yeah so this they haven't fixed those uh, administrator issues with modern apps but um yeah there we go windows server 2016 or aka windows 10 anniversary update uh, version of windows server 2016 it's okay i'll look at the uh, i mean the this is not the big part the big parts of the server features and there's a lot of cool things going on this is just the back end this is the client build this is the client on top of which the server is built so there's there's no there's, there's no point in actually looking at stuff like this i just wanted to compare it to windows 10 uh, before i go i might just do just check in the settings app so you have display custom skill factor set so that's because of v how vmware is working so taskbar they haven't removed this dialog box yet but they will in a future build so if i go to windows 10 if i go to properties i it automatically opens that this this uh modern taskbar settings they have the modern taskbar settings here but they haven't uh, this build is older in a newer build this 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 is going to be completely removed and right, right clicking here will open up this the modern piece setting. notifications this hasn't been updated yet in the client you could actually drag them around and change stuff so if I go to the client here you could like drag this so re rearrange that so okay apps and features you can move apps to another drive you can't do that at built-in apps and you can't install apps so it doesn't matter so these are all part of the client so storage new apps will be installed but if I had a second drive it would be op the option would be there but again the store doesn't work so network internet dial up VPN um, update and security Windows update uh, advanced settings no Windows, no Windows Insider stuff here so because um, activation activations off sideload apps developer mode Windows Store apps only install. This is this is just a client feature again. Windows Store is not there. Reset and refresh and reset piece option is not there. Uh, Windows Defender, Windows Defender offline is there. I guess not. You, it, this this is disabled, so you can't use that either. So there's a feature in Windows 10 client that you could scan offline, but it won't work here. Can I open Windows Defender? Yes, Windows Defender is running, so that that is here, but no offline feature. The settings there, but the actual feature is not there. Uh, also, as I mentioned, um, you can't reset or refresh the PC. Windows Update, uh, you can't, you could, you're, you'll only get patches, you won't get new builds. Uh, as far as I know, uh, ease of access, time and language, set time zones automatically. That's a feature that came in Threshold 2 or version 13.11. So yeah, there you go. USB, keyboard, mouse. That's all you, there's to it. So yeah, this is Windows 10 or Windows Server 2016 Technical Preview 5, the Redstone version, the anniversary update. Redstone is the code name. Redstone 1 is the code name for the anniversary update of Windows 10. So yeah, that's it. So thank you for watching. Mm. This was Windows Server. So I'm going to have more exciting videos. I'll probably do other videos that, would, that talk about stuff like the server manager and other stuff in server and adding roles and removing roles and fun stuff using the command command line. Uh, I wonder if Ubuntu, the Linux subsystem would be on the server. If it is, I'll have to definitely check that out. So that'd be interesting. I, I doubt it. Microsoft said they won't have it, but maybe they will. Maybe it will be there because it's a built on the client version, but it not might not be there. So it will be fun to check if it is or not. 
if it is, it's going to be fun running Linux stuff on the server. <laughs> so it's going to be fun. So yeah, so this is a video of Windows running Windows Server. So thank you for watching and have a good good day. Oh yeah, be don't forget to like and subscribe.